Now then you also asked you um, to have a look at, uh, at some of the large earthquakes and zoom into Chile. So the next question might be, how would we find where Chile is? And again, there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. But I'll show you, if we look, for example, we know that Chile is a country. Um, so if we had a look at our world layer, for example, and we tick that one on, and, and what you can see here is you've got all the different countries um, as different polygons here. And the idea is we'd just like to identify exactly where Chile is. Now we could go around with the identify tool and click on a bunch of different countries if we liked, if we knew we were somewhere in the ballpark. Um, but alternatively, we could um, open the attribute table for this particular layer. And you'll see here I've got an option of looking um, at all the different countries that are listed here. So if I was to scroll down, for example, um, I've got them listed in alphabetical order here. And if I was to scroll down and find myself Chile, and if I click on that, you'll see that it turns a cyan color in this in this attribute table. Okay. Now, what you'll also see corresponding when I move the table is that the country itself is highlighted in that same cyan color, and that means that it's selected. So we've now identified where Chile is, and then the fastest way to get there is simply to right-click in the table of contents, and just off the screen there. But in your, in your own uh, monitor, you'll be able to see that you have an option called Selection. And you'll be able to zoom to the selected features. So if I click on that now just off the screen, we'll zoom all the way into Chile there. Now, if at any stage we want to remove that selection, so I don't want that to be outlined in Cyan anymore. I've identified where it is, and I'm happy with that. All I need to do is to go up to this button here, which says Clear Selected Features. So I just click on that then it disappears from the polygon selection there and you'll also see that it's disappeared from the table of contents selection. So that's a quick and easy way to locate a, a feature in your, in your map and then also to zoom into it.